Hey guys. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another uh, whiskey review with Sean and Mike. We, uh, do, we do the fun stuff. We do the fun stuff, right? <laughs> we don't mess uh, around. So tonight we've got an extra fun review for you. Uh, we decided that uh, we would look into doing cinnamon whiskey reviews. It's fairly popular. Uh, I'm not a huge cinnamon whiskey guy, and I didn't realize until we started doing a little bit of research into the topic how big this is. This guy right here is a monster. <laughs> you will find it in every nook and cranny of any store that has liquor you go to. And probably, Guaranteed. Probably every college dorm room has one. Right? Every college dorm room. So Fireball started out... You know, it's just a little bitty niche market cinnamon whiskey in 2011. It's got maybe $2 million in sales. That's respectable for a little not niche bad, market, right? So they start a social media campaign and marketing and really giving it a push. And I can remember vividly talking to bar owners and they're like, I don't want to have that crap, you know? And they, they literally were like, you can take that out of my bar. I'm not serving it, right? But people started clamoring for it because they saw it on social media and, and it was kind of a hit. It was one of those underground things that everybody decided that they had to have. So it goes from a $2 million per year sales to $2 billion. That's unreal. Crazy. Their sales, Crazy money sales. By the end of 2016, they are over $2 billion in sales a year. That's astounding to me. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say about it. And so they were so successful that now everybody else is kind of scrambling a little bit to catch up. Um, so you've got Jim Beam Fire, Jack Daniels has one, uh, you know, and then there's a bunch of other smaller ones. So we thought we would compare the Fireball, the everybody most popular knows it. one. Yep. To a couple that are a, a little bit lesser known, uh, a little bit harder to find, and maybe yeah. a little bit more quality um, than you could expect from we'll see about that here's the deal it's cinnamon whiskey so yeah. it's probably not going to blow our socks off right but everybody's drinking it everybody's talking about it and one thing to keep in mind it's kind of a gateway drug right i mean this gets people drinking whiskey that never thought about drinking whiskey before and it, it kind of brings them into the fold and then once they're there they get introduced to other things, and they they're more likely to experiment, you know, with or, a single malt, malt scotch or more, or a bourbon. The more cinnamon whiskey shots they do, the more they're willing <laughs> that same night to right? do something else. If if nothing else, think of it this way: the glut of cinnamon whiskey. This this right here in the United States is the second most popular liquor in the country. These kinds of things finance these companies' endeavors in building distilleries that can crank out more of everything to keep up with the demand that all of us consumers are clamoring for more whiskeys. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but let's get to the whiskey and see just what we're messing with here. Yeah. So, this is actually Canadian, right? Yes. So, it's a Although, Canadian whiskey. Yes. And what other fun thing do they put in here? Propylene glycol. Antifreeze. Antifreeze. Car antifreeze. It's awesome. Uh, so we're going to drink we, some antifreeze. And what did we learn uh, on this with uh, other countries there, that there's, banned it? There's some European countries that have recalled this product as not safe for consumers. We're going to drink it anyway because we're Americans and that's how we roll. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the nice thing is that when you throw it in your freezer to make it taste better, it's not going to freeze up on you and break your bottle, right? I think I, think I read... <laughs> I read it has to be like negative 12 degrees to freeze it to start like almost like turns more into a syrup than like a liquid it starts solidifying a little bit I mean, if it gets I'm not gonna below lie, that's a little disturbing or below negative 12 so I'm, I'm not sure I feel about drinking this now <laughs> I'm not gonna lie well it smells cinnamony right like really cinnamony yes it's got it's got a punch. It's it'll punch you with cinnamon. I'm guessing this. So. I'm guessing they don't care about natural colors no. or flavors or what kind of additives they put in here. It's cinnamon. They put a little vanilla in it. And antifreeze. And antifreeze. Okay. Yes. 
So that's what we're doing. So that's what's common with all three of these, actually, what I read. So Cheers, sir. Cheers. Okay, I didn't realize we were shooting it. Well, that's okay. what you do with it, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, I don't know what else you would do with cinnamon whiskey other than just shoot it down. Uh, so this stuff tastes like heaven, burns like right. hell. What happens next is up to you. If you're drinking Fireball, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen next. <laughs> It'll not be, tonight, it'll though, because we're doing night. this for scientific research. Yes. Okay. All right, so what's next on our agenda here? Next one is what I picked out. I found it very a lot harder to find. I, I actually I had to snagged a up. bottle uh, from work. Yeah. Um, I was lucky enough to get in with the dis with a uh, distributor that had that is distributing this. So. But really, I have not seen this in the in, in a liquor store around here. I'm not. Surprised. I had to get mine from Chicago. So, and I got it because I'm kind of a comic book nerd, and yes, that does say Hellboy. It is from the comic book. Right. Not the, not the, not the movie. The comic book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Otherwise, what's-his-name would be on the front of this. Right. But actual Hellboy from the comic book itself is on this. And this has been out for so, a while, right? Since 94. Okay, so it's been since around 94. for a minute. And this um, is straight corn whiskey. Corn whiskey. And once again, just like I said with this one, it's got the cinnamon in it. It's got a little hint of vanilla. Um, I think that's a common thing with most cinnamon whiskeys, because kind of take the edge off yeah, and give it a little I, sweet I think to so, it. Because uh, what about hot the cinnamon uh, can be pretty hot. This one does not have antifreeze in it, right? No, this one is. They advertise. Looked it up, and they advertise. They big big things that whatever that stuff is called. No propylene glycol. No propylene glycol. In it, so 100% American made. It's a lot distilled. different color, um, as you can see. Natural this color. This one's more of a. <laughs> yeah. This one, your fireball is more of your uh, almost maple syrup. This one is full on deep red. Also, kind of reminds me of the uh, what's that liqueur I used to drink in college all the Hot time. Hot damn. No. Aftershock. Oh God. Oh, man, that's a horrible idea, too. Horrible. See that? Horrible that idea, awesome. man. Horrible idea. We used to make two, Aftershock and Avalanche. Yeah. And the Avalanche was the Peppermint Shops version of it. Love that stuff. <laughs> Are my, a lot, my, a lot of T.A. Tom strips my, on that. My roommates and I would buy a big bottle of that, and then we'd just keep doing shots until the bo bottle was gone, and then we'd go to the bars. And look how well you turned out. We had great <laughs> breath when we showed up to the bar. Couldn't stand up. So it was cool. All right, so, so okay. this one smells this one decidedly smell? different. Now, you haven't had this yet, right? No, I have not. All right, so this is both of our first times okay. with this, and I'm already more impressed with this. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was a little nervous about the red coloring. Um, yeah. I, it, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Now, these are both uh, 66 proof, right? This one, 66. I want to bring up that. This one is actually Hellboy 66.6. .6. So you're 66.66. Proof. .6. So that, does that extra point .6 kick it up a notch? So that's the question. I, I think we should take a sip of this one because I've never had it before. I knew what to expect <laughs> with the fireball, but no, you should you should sip it because it's got it's different. So that one's not as cloyingly sweet. It's got a much cleaner finish. Like this one tastes like a liqueur to me. Yeah. It, it gives it that like sticky sweet in your mouth, and you're just like, ah, one's good. I'm fine, thanks. You know what I mean? This one tastes. You wanted to stay away from the liqueur. That's why aftershock actually isn't up here. So this one tastes more like what I <laughs> would expect from a, an actual whiskey, like with the mouth feel, not with the flavor profile. It's still got that cinnamon. But it, the cinnamon itself is a little different too. It's not as overpowering. It's a little more subtle, I guess. It's kind of more fluid. Yeah, I still don't get to it. I still don't get a drinking. whole lot of the whiskey flavor. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I can't say that I'm like, oh yeah, that tastes like, you know. But it's it, not as oil. I don't want to. I don't even want to say oily. It, but it's, it's not, not as sticky. It's, it's got a clean yeah, finish. Yeah, it's. This one's actually, you know, I, I really was worried. I thought it would be more like like drinking a liqueur or something. 
You know what I mean? Judging by the, the color. But it's not like that at all. Wow, the cinnamon. Maybe not for shooting. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right, so this one is, is not right. for people who think that they've never had whiskey before and you're going to get them to do a shot. That'd be a bad idea. Right? I can see why yes. this one is so much more popular because it's so much more approachable for people that are yeah. like, I was just drinking a pina colada, what else can we do? Let's do shots! And then they get a Fireball. bunch of shots of Fireball, right? Those people can drink this. I don't know that those people can drink this. This is almost like something you would make a mixed drink out of, right? To give it that cinnamon flavor and kind of kick it up a little bit without like putting in a bunch of sugar and stuff. This would go great with Coke, Diet Coke. Yeah. I think. I was thinking something vanilla, honestly. A vanilla Coke? Vanilla Coke would be good. Give it that cinnamon wow. kind of flavor. Throw a shot of right. this and a vanilla Coke. To me, that that's more for messy <coughs> stuff. So, all right. <coughs> now, Last one. The chicken cock. We never, never tried this one. No. Neither of us. And you know what? We've been looking at this on the shelf. Every time we go to the liquor store together, I'm like, look at that. <laughs> like, it's in an aluminum bottle. What sort of... It's a quick chill bottle. We right? did find out the reason behind the whole. Yeah, it's not bottle. just uh, it's not just something weird, right? During they brought back for their flavor, they have three different flavors: uh, spiced, a root beer, and then this one. Yeah. And they all put them in the aluminum bottles to kind of bring back the prohibition look, because I read and found out that during prohibition, when they made this up in Canada, right. To get it down across the border during Prohibition, they would put the bottles in aluminum cans, tin cans. So you'd go to your speakeasy, speakeasy, and you'd order that, and they'd bring out the can and open the can and pull out the bottle. And it was kind of a big deal, right? right. I mean, they, it was actually a pretty popular brand so, during Prohibition. Yeah. Uh, so so they, they're back, they're doing their thing. And as a bourbon drinker, they're starting to really improve is my understanding really improved their uh, their bourbons also. So is this Canadian or is it American? Do you remember? They during Prohibition they may had to go up to Canada to make it, but it's my understanding they're back now. That it's an American. It is American. produced product. Okay. It's still there. So so we've got the. Uh, oh yeah, Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston. Uh, so we've got the chicken cock cinnamon flavored whiskey. This one's a little bit hotter. It's 86 proof. So we're, we're going to have to be careful with this one. Yes. Um, and I was kind of surprised because this bottle doesn't look like a fifth, but it is. It's a 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, neither one of us have tried this yet. We actually had a, a kind of a hard time getting the cap off. Yeah. Uh, so what's this one look like? So this, this looks one, like... This one looks probably a little bit closer. Not as dark as your fireball, uh, but kind of a cool bottle, if you will. Um, just kind of a neat thing to have on the bar. That was, we looked at a bunch of cinnamon whiskeys tonight trying to yeah. figure out, we had these two and we were wanting one more and trying to pick out one and we looked at the gym and we looked at All the right. jack and you know a lot of people have, have done those already. Uh, this was, was just kind of unique and we've been eyeing that bottle for a, a minute now. Yeah. And, it's kind of like, you know what, we'll just go for it and, and see what you're going to do. All right, so. Smell it. It smells it's, more whiskey. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, there's cinnamon, whiskey. but it's, it's got a more of a whiskey aroma like in there. There isn't a lot. The other two don't smell like whiskey at all. At all, yeah. You know, they, they are whiskey in name only, yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, mm. you can definitely smell the whiskey a lot. Oh. You can taste the whiskey. That is predominantly. That's that's a, a little bit. That's they, a little bit of a different thing going. And then they threw some cinnamon in it. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. Let's market some cinnamon whiskey and take our whiskey and throw a little cinnamon in it. To me, this is a lot closer to like 
the Jim Beam Fire and what's the Jack Daniels one? Whatever their cinema was. Yeah. Is. I, I, it's or is Jack game. Daniels Fire? No. No, it's Jim Beam Fire, isn't it? We just looked at the bottles. Oh. Man, we don't know. I, 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 to be honest with you, yeah. I don't really care what it's named. I'm not going to yeah. be drinking much of it. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, I, I've had both of those, and this reminds me of those in that you can taste the, the whiskey still in those. Yeah, it's still... You know, they, they wanted their whiskey to be able to be tasted over the cinnamon. To me, Fireball, they're covering up whatever flavor their alcohol has with sugary cinnamony to, to get it to go down easy. Sugar, cinnamon, and... It's kind of like flavoring your kid's medicine, right? Yeah. It's going to taste horrible, but now it tastes like strawberry, and so it's not so bad, you know? Same deal. This, to me, is more of the, the training wheels are coming off. We're going to dial down the cinnamon a little bit, let you Turn actually the taste whiskey. the whiskey a little bit, yeah. and start to develop a, a palate for whiskey. Yeah. So, to me, this one is actually a, a good stepping stone into, well, why don't we just try the whiskey and see if you like that, All right. right? All right. You ready? It's a lot of cinnamon. It is. Ugh. Wow, that was a little more uh, rough around the edges. Packs a punch. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, what do we have to say about the cinnamon whiskeys? In in our final thoughts here, um, are many of you going to be rushing out to go buy this? Probably not. No. This one. You probably will. Unless you're living in a country where they have a thing about you drinking antifreeze, yeah. and then you probably won't be able to get yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, the other ones, you know, to me, I think if you are a connoisseur of, of fine whiskeys, yeah. this is all crap. You're never ever going to touch this unless you're out with your college buddies and somebody's like, yeah. we're going to be doing shots. And you're like, well, I don't really Let's do, do shots. fireball. Because that's common. And it's always a horrible idea. Right. It totally is. But I will honestly say this will always, always be on my bar. I can tell you that... These two bottles will probably live on my bar for a long time um, until I come up with mixed drinks that I can mix things up and, and sneak it into people's booze. The thing with this one, like we were talking earlier, if you mix 50-50 with rum chata, oh, that's another episode. <laughs> but it's so good. My rum chata is right next to this. So what's your ranking on these? My one, two, three. I've, I've got to stick with this being... My number one, I will always take this to friends' houses during bonfires, to just about anything, like I said, alongside my rum chata. Give everybody some uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Um, so that will always be, this will be my number one All for right. the cinnamon. This will be my number two because of my uh, comic book nerdiness, I guess you can say, because that's just a badass bottle and Hellboy's on it so that's cool and it tastes decent but yeah it'll be figured out to do some kind of mixed drink or whatever fair enough um, this one here will become a dusty and pretty much a conversation piece there you, you go. could say because oh man you got chicken cock oh, <laughs> that's hilarious so so um, that's so it'll be one, two, and three for me. I'm going to quantify my uh, my ranking. All right. All righty. So here's the deal. If I am doing shots, I will probably rank Fireball number one, only because it of the three, it went down the smoothest. It, it was the easiest to take as a shot, as a straight up. I'm going to pour this in a glass and shoot it. Yeah. This one was the easiest one of the three, and it's made for that. That's why it's selling two billion dollars a year. But then again, right. like we like we said, you go to a bar, any bar in the country will have this. Not necessarily this or even this. Yep. But, but they if have you want to goof off with your friends, that's, that's what you're gonna do. And that's why. Now, having quantified that, I would say if I was going to make a mixed drink, uh, I would say probably the Hellboy. I found it to be the most intriguing um, and the the uh, viscosity of the liquid, if you will, it, it wasn't so sticky sweet. 
Um, and, and I think you could make a pretty good mixed drink with this one. This one, I, I'm not going to say that I didn't care for the chicken cock. I want to actually try their whiskey. Yeah. After trying this, because you could kind of get hints of the whiskey, and the cinnamon just kind of covered it up and pissed me off. You know what I mean? Like I, for this one, I actually kind of wanted to taste the whiskey and see what they had going on because I'm intrigued by it. So I'll probably go out and pick up a bottle of chicken cock at some point, like regular chicken cock. Can't believe I'm staying that that many times in a sentence, right? So anyway, uh, there's our review on the cinnamon whiskeys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. One, two, three. We're live uh, every Thursday. Uh, Mike joins us as often as he can, yes. and the rest of the dummies will be here every Thursday. And then every Monday we release a new review. So we'd love to see you. We're Check us out on Facebook, fun. Instagram, Twitter. We do it all. Yeah. And uh, we hope to see you guys back here. If there's anything that you guys want us to try, leave a message. Yeah, too. We, we'd love uh, your you ideas something and your funny that you think we can get a hold of. We've got a couple of funny it. reviews coming yes, up, we got and we also have uh, some serious yeah. uh, hardcore whiskey reviews yeah. coming. So uh, keep on the lookout for all of that. Yep. Cheers, guys. Thank you.